Hey guys, Scott Reekers here, and I am doing a review of the Chen Gear Waders, and I can't wait to tell you about all the features of this brand new product. Make sure that you have subscribed to our channel and have notifications set so you'll get a notification every time we review great products like this. So let's start off with what makes the vast majority of this material here on this wader. Now, what you'll notice right off the bat is that there is plenty of play, there's plenty of material. Guys, I'm six foot five, and so if you have any sizing questions, use me as a reference. I'm six foot five, about 235 pounds, and so you can see that I've got the extra large tall, size 13 boot. And the material they use is four layers, and it is their material, it is waterproof. Obviously you'd want waterproof for waders, but it is breathable. Now, for me, that becomes really important, especially on our first split. It tends to be a little bit warmer than say, when we get into the second split, which goes into January, like real late season. We tend to sweat a little more getting to the blind. And so I wanna make sure that I have breathable waders because that makes life that much better. Some of the other options that are out there that don't breathe are pretty miserable experience, especially in the early, early season. And I know there are a lot of guys out there who might buy two pairs of waders, but the vast majority of us, if you're going to spend a lot on waders, like most of us are doing now, what I would highly encourage you to look at is if you're gonna spend the money, look at buying quality right off the bat. And that's what is here in this four layer breathable material is your start. Moving to the next feature is when you get down to areas that experience the most wear, I have had other waders that are a real struggle where the boot meets the actual waterproof breathable material. Now, Shen Gear addressed that by putting this right over the edge here so it covers that area and protects it from getting beaten up. What it also does is that's gonna keep some heat in there too and I really like that because we have some late season hunts where it can just flat be miserable cold in January walking out in the water. You know, we're talking, you know, it can feel like negative 10. I won't put a dog out in the water when it's, when it's that cold, but it can feel like it's that cold. And so the 1200 gram Thinsulate inside the boots is going to keep your feet warm as well as protected with the way that they've, they've designed this material, the way that they've sewn this all together, and then also the places where the boot meets the wader. Historically in the past, that has been a place where wader brands have struggled to make sure that they get, get that seam done well, make sure there's not going to be any leaks there. Shen Gear has addressed that by making sure that that is covered. And so you've also got the stretch band around that. So it's kind of, this is kind of like marrying up when you see guys that are out on the river fly fishing, but then you see people that are out in the late season that obviously have a very different wader on. This is kind of marrying those two where you see those technologies come together. But the beautiful part about this is that you can see that this is waterfowl gear for waterfowlers. It's not somebody just offering this and throwing some camo pattern on a wader. This is waterfowl gear for waterfowlers. Here's what I mean. You have these pockets. Well, the first thing I noticed, there's a little bit of fuzz inside there. Well, like I said, I do a lot of duck hunting late November all the way through mid-January. That means it's gonna be cold. Those mornings are gonna be crisp. I like to have my shooting hand not have a ton of glove on it because that makes it harder to shoot. And so reality is I've got to keep this hand usually covered up. And so what happens is I'll put it in this pocket. Well, this pocket's not insulated. That doesn't do me any good. But if I'm going in the water, you want to be able to put your, your jacket inside this material here. And I do that. So that means I don't have access to my jacket. Well, the beauty here is there is a pocket with a magnet where I can put on the inside right next to this fleece lined pocket. So it's actually two pockets, but you can see, put my hand in here and there's a place to put a hand warmer. And it's very convenient, very easy to get into. Not the same pocket, but they're right next to each other. And so that is, that is well thought out. So when I say waterfowl gear for waterfowlers, that's something that I mean, it's done by them. And so next up, I will show you that you've got the waterproof zipper right here.
next up is you can see that there is a little bit of padding on these on these shoulder pads on the shoulder harness and the beauty of having that padding is that you know they can weigh a little bit by the end of the day and you want to have some of that padding there it also makes it a little bit easier when you're actually thinking about how does this interact with my jackets how does this interact with my layers having that padding there can be nice because it's going to push down you want it tight where it's not going to fall off your shoulders well you can see right here i'm doing this it's not going to fall off my shoulders because of the way that the y shape in the harness in the back works so Next up, I'm going to address these front pockets. They've labeled these as water resistant. And so I do put my phone in that front pocket, you know, all about the gram. You know, let's just, let's just call it what it is. Um, when you're water fouling, it's a lot of fun to be able to record the ducks coming in and your buddy shooting. So I keep my cell phone in the front pocket right here. And so knowing that it's water resistant as, and my phone is water resistant, unless I just absolutely dunk this thing and lay in the water for like 15 minutes, my phone would be protected inside that pocket. That's what water resistance means. It's not a promise that there won't be any water in there. It just means that it's gonna be real slow getting to the contents of these two pockets right here. So you're looking at pockets right here, pockets back here, the fleece line, and then you've got the pockets on the interior with your magnetic strips. So that is how the, how the pocket works. Now let's get here into the belt. Now, one of the frustrations I've had with some waders in the past is if there's not some stretch in this belt, that can be kind of a pain when you start layering up because let's just call a spade a spade. When you're out waterfowling, one of the things that you have happen is you do kind of look like the abominable snowman when you're getting layered up. So that means you need a little bit of stretch in that belt. Well, this belt has that, but it can be easily adjusted. So for the earlier seasons where you're just standing in the water, you can tighten it up and you've got that there, but if you need to loosen it up, that also happens pretty easily. One of the other features of this wader that I really wanna point out is that these seams right here below the waist are not sewn. Well, what does that mean? A sewn seam in a wader can become over a time with wear a place that you are potentially repairing regularly that you're putting some seam seal on and that's not something that you want to be doing you don't want to be repairing your waders every waiter can get a hole in it let's just be honest we're all hard on our gear however knowing that with this seam right here it makes life a little easier because the wear points aren't going to be seams getting after it now where it needs to be tougher up here there are seams you can see that where they had to build in the pockets that's there but this was a well thought out waiter in that the seams on the bottom half are not sewn in they're all welded together and so that's again well thought out piece of gear this is something that they've done a lot of work on those are some of the key features that are here and i hope you've enjoyed this review by eastman's hunting journals and wingman and make sure you have subscribed to our youtube channel Good boy.